What's up everybody, Nick Bringle here, and today we're talking about this unprecedented year on YouTube. The good stuff, not the pandemic, not politics, none of the just bad news that we've been receiving constantly all day, uh, every day this year. So uh, I wanna start by talking about my uploads this year. I have uploaded up to this point 13 videos. That's it. I know it seems like I probably would have uploaded more, uh, but I don't ever really have a plan. I just sort of feel the creativity when it comes. So you have definitely seen an array of different types of videos uh, from visual narrative to uh, gear reviews to just talking about color grading and um, yeah, just what kind of stuff that I felt like uh, sharing, I guess. So um, with all that being said, I have gained in this community here on my channel about 1,200 subscribers this year, which is pretty awesome, so thank you very much. And if you're not subscribed, please go watch some of my other videos, consider subscribing. You don't have to, but it's free. It helps me out, it's pretty awesome. So what I wanted to do is share a few things that I've learned this year on YouTube, being a creator here on this platform. And uh, these are things I've probably preached before and you've probably heard from other creators, but uh, I'm just gonna tell you again. So uh, the number one thing is consistency. Now. I just shared that I have only uploaded 13 videos this year, so that's like basically one a month. So it's not great, uh, but for me, that's pretty consistent, one a month. So if you're subscribed here, you understand that the uploads come, you know, not as often as I would like or maybe you would like, but um, definitely being consistent and not just with uploading, but being consistent across the board, uh, being consistent with who you are, what your message is, um, the quality of your content, and just the overall uh, story to each uh, video that you upload. Uh, kind of has its own rhythm, its own pace, and its own uh, identity. You know, I, I, I wanna believe that most of you uh, enjoy not just my personality, but hopefully the style, the color, the look and feel of everything that I uh, put out there and the things that I want you to see because obviously, you know, I, I produce a, lots of different content that doesn't get onto this platform. Some things that maybe, you know, just don't really need to go onto YouTube. Uh, so I try to pick and choose and be a little more specific with what I'm putting out there. And I know you've asked a lot of questions about wanting to talk about specific things. And I have made those notes and I will get to that, of course in due time. And something I think about a lot that you should also be you know, considering if you are producing content here on YouTube or even watching other people's content is the value that you're giving and receiving. So uh, the value is, is very important to people, you know, giving your full self, being transparent, being honest in the gear that you talk about or the way you edit and color grade and just sharing your experiences, I think goes a very long way and not cutting out all of the, the junk, you know, really leave that in there and let people know how it really is. So um, just being honest and, uh, you know, don't talk about gear that you don't care about or promote a product that, you know, you're not really behind, but maybe they are giving you for free or whatever. 
I, I, I stand back on that and I've had a few opportunities this year that I've definitely initially was intrigued and then decided that's not really for me. It's not really for my audience. So definitely something to think about. And a perfect example of that is in this video, the music that you are hearing is through Artlist. It's been provided from Artlist. Earlier in the year, I was approached to, uh, you know, kind of be a brand ambassador or whatever you want to call it. Um, and uh, so I've been using some Artlist music. If you look down in the description, you've maybe seen a link where you can get, you know, a percentage off of a subscription. And so this is sort of my first time really mentioning that. Um, so this video is kind of, you know, sponsored by Artlist and they have an amazing library of music. Uh, I also use some other platforms as well, but Artlist has been really cool and I think one key thing across the board for Artlist is that your subscription is not just for you to use on YouTube. You can use Artlist music and sound effects anywhere in client projects. It's all licensed to you and you don't have to worry about paying uh, you know, another premium price to use it in commercial work or short films or whatnot. So you pay for it, it's yours, you can use it wherever you want. So I think that's pretty awesome. So check out the link below, go check out Artlist. Many of you have seen the ads over and over and over again, so I'll stop talking about it now. Another thing I wanna to touch on is the quality in the consistency of the content that you're putting out. When I say that, that does not mean that you need the best lenses, the best camera, the best microphones, the best lights, you don't. You need to work with what you have and produce content with that gear and work your way up from there. None of us start off with uh, cinema cameras and amazing glass and the best lighting. None of us do. We all start somewhere at the bottom and if you can perfect that gear and really show that you know what you're doing with that people will trust you they will come back time and time again they will comment they want to know how you're doing what you're doing you've probably seen a lot of the comments in previous videos or in other youtubers videos of just how are you getting the color like that how are you doing the lighting like that there's so much content out there talking about this but more specifically if it's a YouTuber, if it's somebody, a filmmaker that you really appreciate and you like their style, then go down the rabbit hole. Really, just go to their YouTube channel, watch everything. Uh, maybe it's a filmmaker. Try to find interviews and behind the scenes and really kind of figure out their philosophy, who they are um, beyond just being behind the camera or in front of the camera because there's so much more that goes into why they do what they do, why I choose to shoot things the way that I do. And we've talked about that, of course, before, and we'll talk about it again. Um, so I wanna leave you with one more thing, and that is talking about you know this community, um, again, uh, on YouTube, that uh, it's been a huge encouragement for me, especially through this crazy year of, you know, productions being shut down, no work, then a bunch of work, then no work again. And um, I've always been able to fall back to this creative outlet. And this is something that goes back, you know, years, years ago when I really said, all right, I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna commit to making YouTube content. And that doesn't mean I'm gonna make a million videos a year, but I'm going to try to be consistent and win I feel that it's something I need to talk about or share that that's what I'm gonna do because I want all of you to understand where I'm coming from and how I uh, see the world through the camera, how I wanna capture things and maybe you'll get a little inspiration from that because clearly I've been inspired by many uh, filmmakers and even YouTubers uh, here on this um, platform. So uh, yeah, keep doing that. Uh, if you have any questions, please drop them down below. Smash the like button, as they say. Um, and again, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. And it only takes one second, one click, and you're subscribed. You don't have to ring the bell or anything like that. that that's ridiculous. I don't even click the bell for anybody. So um, yeah, um, 